So good morning in California and good evening in Asia. Um, yeah, so the, I think the focus really is focusing on because you know I think with COVID the sales kickoff process, I think this is really the time from now to December when most sales kickoff uh, meetings are happening uh, in line with the start in January. And I think as people are hopefully expecting things to go back early next year, they want to make sure their sales teams are in order, right? If you have, you know, your global sales team. So some of our clients have as many as more than 3000 salespeople, for example, holding a kickoff in the same roof, uh, along with the partners and the, and, you know, people who exhibit. So, so we'll discuss this niche topic and Ivan yeah. focusing on how to uh, enable sales kickoff with virtual events. Yeah. So uh, that, that's the big topic of conversation today. Uh, so uh, I'll share the screen and we'll get started on the presentation. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, sure. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, here we go. Uh, so I hope you can. Uh, everyone can see the presentation. Uh, so let, they can click on the uh, the, the tile. Which is sharing uh, the session. So yeah, anybody who uh, wants to enlarge the presentation can click on the tile, and that will that will enlarge the, the presentation screen. Yeah. So uh, so I mean, this is this is kind of a big message, but that's the main message that that's there for virtual events, isn't it? That uh, I mean, we've gone from a brief period of virtual only to something called a digital twin. So what's yeah. that? So, you know, digital twin is actually not something that is unknown to people. In fact, in the UK, in, in the US, there are official government departments and official industry, official sort of, uh, uh, you know, organizations which are focused on digital twins, creating digital twin for the whole city. So as a means of resilience, they're trying to create a parallel city in the in uh, digitally. So as an example, for example, in California, you know, the fires that are hampering California right now, you know, the whole idea is if you if you can have a real working twin, then not only is it a good backup, but it's also a good predictor of what might happen. Hmm. So uh, while that is done at a city level, there are some people who do it at, a say, a factory level, where you want a digital twin of your factory, or right now, you know, working from home is essentially a digital twin of your office, right? Hmm. Yeah. And now what we are saying is that, okay, you used to have these sales kickoffs when you used to get people, make them travel hundreds or thousands of miles, put them in a room and try to do an engagement. Now, most salespeople anyways don't like that because it gets them out of their customer uh, touch. But at the same time, it's not possible now in the next quarter from, you know, October, the last quarter of the year, it's not really uh, possible. So how do you create a digital twin uh, for the sales kickoff event is what you're talking today. Okay. Uh, so uh, moving on to the real meat of the, the discussion. Uh, so we will go right into the first point. Uh, so, uh, so what we were discussing before this, this uh, we, we, we went live was uh, basically we divided our standard sales kickoff event into 10 major sections obviously the i mean uh, depending on the actual event there may be more there may be less but then we kind of sorted it out into how each section of that event can go virtual we are really started uh, saying that uh, you the lounges you want the uh, you you uh, take a look to leadership lounges and how it translates to uh, digital yeah absolutely so thanks for teeing off with that I think I think it's fair to say that when you talk about the sales kickoff, you know, you're typically looking at organizations which have, uh, you know, a decent size of a sales team. And that's why they want to do an event. So that could be as low as 50 people in the sales and marketing, you know, to as high as 10,000 or beyond. You know, when you take some of the largest organizations, it can be anywhere from 50 to 10,000 in terms of sales, sales folks. Now, what typically happens is that when the moment you start hitting even 100 people in your sales team, you know, they report to a manager, the manager reports to a regional VP and so forth. And they, 
and they never almost never get the chance to speak to the CXO you know they would for, definitely never get a chance to speak to the CEO they might listen to them as a one-way stream but they would never get the chance to have a one-to-one -one. and uh, not only the CEO when you talk about the president when you talk about the VPs they barely get a chance so what happens is that the vision often what happens is that in the sales role it's it's a business of storytelling you know what you're really trying to do is tell a story because with with digital today you know hard selling is really gone you know if you're selling if you're in the pharmaceutical business you know you just cannot force yourself through right there's always a story to be told if you're in the real estate business there's always a story to be told if you're in the financial services business there's a story to be told now who's the best storyteller of course it comes from the top you know the ceo knows that what's the next big thing what is the mission of the company what is the vision of the company and the whole new momentum around is now the statement of purpose right that's the new kid on the block mission and vision have been overused and the new kid on the block has been is now a statement of purpose so for a sales executive right who's just starting off or who's somewhere in the middle it's almost impossible for him to have a one to one you know unless they meet by chance on on the on the driveway or on on a coffee table so what we are really trying to do is give an environment where you know the for example the ceo holds a round table the president holds a round table and they have a fair shot they may not have a confirmed shot but they have a fair shot across the day to to meet some of these people so just imagine a large company having you know thousands of sales people now they know that this is a three day kickoff and and my cxo team is is having a round table where they can be pre assigned or they can just try and get in now typically round tables are no more than 12 people because other than otherwise you don't really get the benefit of a round table so when you're trying to do that it's 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 more almost like you know lunch with warren buffet you know kind of an experience or uh, in today's world for perhaps lunch with elon musk you know there is something around that so imagine the you know the ceo hosting that and and the sales guy can go from table to table other way around is when the ceo goes from table to table right he knows that there are 10 round tables active and he he goes into a round table he says hello he speaks to them you know he understands the pulse he responds he goes to the next one amazing you know for a medium to large company the kind of engagement that can happen no amount of powerpoint and video training can do that it can be logistically inconvenient to do it otherwise but the fact that through serendipity and discovery you can do that is almost a rock star moment uh, for for a sales person so th that's what we're talking about here uh all right uh thanks for that uh i i just saw in chat that my audio is apparently a little rough for some people so uh, i'm sorry about that if that's the case i'm really sorry about that so i'll i'll try to keep my uh what i say to the little minimum and i'll let's sit okay. the conversation no no problem yeah with no that problem. let's go to the next slide which is similar to round tables but different yeah absolutely so so now what happens is uh, anirban and the other you know the other so what we are trying to discuss today is different forms of engagement right so the other form of engagement is when you when you have open round tables which you discussed but what we are also talking about uh, sort of a speed networking element here now just imagine even if you have 50 people in your sales team which is uh, almost a starting point Uh, you know some of our clients have thousands but let's say even if you have 50 sales people let let the the fact that people know each other is rare everyone knows each other is rare now what we do is through uh, the, the the module that's being launched you 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 are mapped to another person for 3 minutes of a conversation so you you automatically get mapped you know you instantly instead of chit chat so you know just the other day for example yesterday i was in one such engagement session and it was so amazing in the sense that because it was 3 minutes and when it's 3 minutes you typically lose about 30 seconds in in adjusting yourself 
because you know people are checking oh can you hear me can i hear you etc you know no matter which platform it is you, you have that and then what happens is the the person asks me well we just have two minutes left what are you looking for no chit chat no small talk you got straight to the point what are you looking for so imagine again from a sales kickoff perspective you know you get you 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 know and then i realized that that's the most beautiful way to do such uh, breakout rooms right one to one and throughout the day when i was doing the breakout you know of course you you went there typically for 3 minutes 30 seconds goes away in miscellaneous things and so the, the only chit chat you can do is hello how are you and that's that's for 30 seconds and you know that it's automatically going to move you out and every meeting started with what are you looking for and suddenly you saw that the people were you know from a flimsy oh where are you based where are you located whom do you report to which division how are things how is the covid situation etc in uh, you know your your part of the world it suddenly went to what are you looking for how can i help you and that was like an ecstatic moment because the moment I said, oh, well, I'm looking for this. Oh, well, you know, I'm doing this deal and I'm trying to get this deal done. I don't know how to get this done. And that guy said, okay, let me refer you to this resource or this person. Work got done, three minutes, three minutes, you know, in, in 30 minutes, you get sort of, you know, almost nine meetings in uh, with, with, with some time to relax. And it's the most efficient way uh, we thought uh, that can be done. So that's what these uh, uh, breakout rooms are about. So the constraint creates some uh, own efficiency. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, so we move to something uh, uh, that has to do with virtual booth. So take us through this. Okay, great. Uh, and just to get a temperature check, is the is the audio okay now? Um, just, just anybody could be kind enough to say yes, no, my audio. Okay, and his one is not okay. okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I think your headset, you, you, the head, I think you were, your headset today just gave up finally. I, I think so, yeah. yeah. But no problem. I'll, 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 I'll take it through, and one can help me with the slides. So again, uh, you know, most sales kickoffs have some form of a booth. You know, like for example, in one of the largest telecoms for UK. Where, where it was three and a half thousand so the first year when we did for them they had different locations right so asia did separately uh, us did separately you know europe did separately second year they decided to get everyone together right no separate same location and usually you have people who are presenting um, uh, which which can be partners or it could be could be solutions so if let's say take for, telecom for example right then you're looking at so many solutions. You know, you're selling fiber optic solutions, you're selling enterprise, you're selling retail, you're selling, you know, different kinds of products. So for the sales force, for the sales team, you know, engagement and education is really what's key here. And having this mini trade show where they go around, because our trade shows allow you to have a video room in it. So you, you join the video room and you engage into a video conference conversation. You know, just like how you would uh, do it in, in what we are doing right now. And that sort of is immensely educational for them. So having these virtual booths, I think, is a very intrinsic part of a sales kickoff. And again, you know, doing that physically takes time, takes investment. And with, with the current situation, you cannot do that perhaps till June next year. So doing that virtually, you know, drives that whole engagement. And, uh, you know, if, 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 you, if you see, for example, what we'll do is later on, we'll jump to the uh, round table, uh, you know, that you will be seeing and having a, uh, you know, chat amongst the attendees. So some of, you know, if you're free, then uh, please, um, you know, please do join us in the round table. Yeah. This is just another look for the booth, I think. It's yeah. Just... Yeah. So this is another uh, look for the booth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you're breaking, so I'll, you just move the slide because you're breaking for some reason. Yeah, so award ceremonies again, recognition very important uh, to the sales kickoff. 
Uh, and and here what we do is is both a form of uh, real time but also pre-recorded. So a lot of the award ceremonies that we are doing uh, we are doing right now we see that they are pre-recorded, but they are being streamed live, right? And after being streamed live, the the judges or the key panelists actually come up for Q and A something like this. So this is one of the uh, I mean uh, partner screenshots uh, from a partner event, uh, but. Uh, it's similar when you have a pre-recorded event and then you stream for a live. So I think award recognition is so critical. I think everyone recognizes that. And again, using a virtual platform to do that is, is really key. Okay, so let's move on. Again, this is a partner, uh, one of the events we did along with a, a very valuable partner that we have is, is showing different lobbies. So we have multiple lobbies we just did one travel show, you know, almost every week we are doing different multiple shows every week. And this shows a custom lobby, uh, but we, we have several lobbies which are, uh, you know, standardized as well for kickoff. So for example, the lobby that you saw today was just a standard lobby which could have been customized to any level or branded without any developer assistance. So it just shows you the versatility of uh, what's the experience when your uh, kickoff starts, right? What do they experience when they first log in? And that's entirely brandable to the company needs, to the location needs, uh, and often it can be self-branded. So, you know, it's really important to get that experience right. Yeah. So this is another example of a lobby, as I was telling you, that, you know, you, you know your lobbies can really, the imagination is the limit, and this is where for our enterprise clients, you know, the branding is included where you can make sure that the branding, because often with sales, you want to make sure that they understand and feel the brand, right? That is really key for them to understand and feel the brand. And this, this slide shows how, you know, the experience can be as rich as, as needed uh, for a sales kickoff. Again, a very valuable, uh, if you go back to the help, uh, you know, very valuable, uh, the help desk. So now we have like a live chat that's available for the attendees. So imagine your sales team that, uh, uh, you know, attends. Now they need support at different points. So now we have a live chat, uh, which helps to support attendees, you know, whether it is technical support, whether it is non-technical support, it just helps them in the entire process. Uh, and it is manned sometime by us but also sometimes by the event planners themselves, especially when the questions are, uh, you know, subject oriented. Like as an example, one of our clients have multiple tracks and they are pre-assigned. So the sales teams are pre-assigned to different tracks. So let's say if I'm selling product A, then I'm assigned to some of the tracks belonging to product A. Now often we find that uh, a sales team member would say, well, I already know about it. Can I go in the product B track? I'm not assigned. I cannot see them, but I know I want to be reassigned. So it's more of a content management uh, kind of an exercise, which, you know, a technical support cannot take that call. So that's the time they would go to the L2 support, contact the, the, the this is what is being requested. And if they permit that, then that's allocated from the admin. Yeah. Again, uh, this is again from the same partner uh, show, um, you know, entertainment is really key. Now what we've done is that, you know, all the sales uh, sales teams like a good evening of entertainment. Uh, I think traditionally what we had was just some video playing, whether it was a ma magic show, a mentalist show, a music show, a DJ night, etc. But what we've done now is we, we actually have implement implementing what we call a watch party. Uh, and what that means is that you can go and chat and interact with each other as the entertainment is going on. And early next year, uh, you know, on our roadmap is actually a Unity login, Unity add-on. And what that means is that not only you can chat and engage, but your video bubbles of the people watching will be coming around the entertainment show. So you can not only see the entertainment, but you can see the expressions of the other people who are watching that entertainment. So you see all the attendees tonight, they understand what a sales kickoff is. And I think it's fair to say that no sales kickoff event is complete without entertainment. Now you don't just want like a Netflix movie to show, right? That's boring. Uh, you know, there are plenty of entertainment available on YouTube. 
you know any time of the day any time of the year so you want to make sure that the engagement continues and people make rich connections uh, people really enjoy that process so i think this whole concept of watch party and then graduating into video bubbles is, is something we're really looking forward to so this is what we are having right so this is what uh, we are doing uh, right now actually uh, of course anirban has spoiled his headset so apologies you will not hear his lovely voice uh, this morning <laughs> but the, the the focus is the fact that this is almost similar to a webinar approach but the but the difference is that you know you you can have a series of them and it's part of the whole process and especially in sales kickoff when you want to assign uh, different uh, seminars or different sessions to different people now you can do that with custom agenda you know so we never had custom agenda before we had one general agenda for everybody now with this fall release what we're doing is different sales teams different groups can have their own agenda and when and using this whole principle of auto flow which means that the moment you log in go to live stage it just flows right you don't have to do anything just like watch sitting in the ballroom and watching a show but what you see will be based on who you are and which group do you belong to so that's really key when we've seen when you talk about uh, you know employee groups and the fact that is also uh, connected to your active directory so single sign on which means that it automatically understands you're from marketing you're from sales uh, you know allocates you to the relevant agenda and then you move move forward from there right so this is again uh, you know we, we covered this briefly and even in the awards uh, showcase uh, yeah. you know a lot of the yeah. video that we speak about is uh, is pre-recorded as you know so when you do a pre-recorded video you you have to make sure that it is streamed as live not as a video on demand so you can stream it as live and it happens only at that time right? sometimes if it's a you know in sales kickoff it's not it's not very common but if if for example some sessions are does not have confidential information then you can even stream that live into the public domain to youtube and facebook live i think this is pretty understood today pretty well but the but the entire concept is you know instead of uh, either having live or not live you have this middle ground where you have simulated live and i think if you've watched uh, you know apple's release yesterday uh, you know apple had a launch yesterday and you know many of the technology companies that are having these events much of those a strong part of those are actually uh, uh, simulated live so it's really important i mean this session is really to give you quick tips on how to do a real good sales kickoff virtually you know e2m is a great platform to do that and you know we hope that these tips are useful to you and yeah let's let's move forward from this this is an example if you go back so this is an example of a fundraiser that was done uh, where there's a widget at the bottom and then there's a video that's going on top right so again an example of a simulated live but then it it need not be just a live video going on you know you want to make sure that there is a watch party or there is a widget so the widget that you see at the bottom is actually displaying contextual information uh, and that's what you want to do right if you're having uh, for example the awards night you want to make sure that the nominees are being scrolled at the bottom right or the people who are shortlisted if somebody's won then you want to make sure that you have a congratulations message that is going you know through the ticker widget so these things sort of give you a absolute real feel in fact a better feel than what you would get in in a traditional uh, sales kickoff same of that so now what you see at the bottom is the selfies being streamed as a photo gallery uh, so we have the ability for the uh, event planner uh, to actually stream uh, actually you move forward and one sorry just one back yeah so you know stream as uh, uh, as a, as a as a live uh, you know selfie update really 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 useful again this uh, sorry if you go back at iban i think you're moving you're moving pretty fast uh, yeah um thanks thanks for that so 
again one of the big releases that we've had this time is is the mobile app now we understand you know traditionally the desktop was the most important uh, device and still for virtual events laptop or desktop access is 90 percent uh, but what what we are seeing is that the the need for hybrid login you know because many of the kickoffs can be for a day sometimes for three days we find that people still need the habit that the moment they get their eyes off they want the app uh, to be on their phones to be on their ipads like for me example in our company we have a daily check-in you know using the system and you know i'm doing different things i may not be at my laptop and I just use it on the iPad on a daily basis. Uh, so it's really uh, key uh, that you know you have multiple formats, uh, and we've seen that value uh, even increasing when you have uh, you know these kickoffs for a longer period of time. Yeah. Again, this is this is following the same trend. Uh, you know, have the mobile apps, have the mobile apps boost uh, in terms of networking. So now our mobile apps have the ability to have a social wall in it. So you, you know, the what you want is the attendees to be or the sales team to be engaging with each other, and one of the best ways is of course being social, right? So they are posting their feedback, they are posting the questions, they are posting what they're looking for, and you know the community around them, the the colleagues around them are liking it, hashtagging it, and this is a private network, right? So it's not going out into Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter. It's your private own private network. But then they have the ability to have their own private social wall. Really important as they are going ahead with the uh, sessions. Uh, really valuable. And another use of that is also to get them back. You know, when they have their mobile phones, when there's a poll, they need not interrupt. They can, you know, be on their phone. The moment they get, so let's say they've taken a lunch break or they are off or they they they're in the gym. You know, if, if they have the meeting scheduled. So one of the modules we have is, you know, the, the meeting module where, uh, you know, you schedule meetings. But this fall, what we also launched is the, is the matching process, which I discussed earlier, right? So what you want to know is that when a meeting is scheduled, right, you, you remind them. Now, of course, you can send an email, but an email is not really useful if the person is, you know, out and about. So the fact that you can get in-app alerts is really useful on getting them back uh, to the event when their favorite session is on, when they are due to speak, when they are due to meet somebody in the round table, or when they simply have a one-to-one, -one, you know, is really important there. So, in, from engagement perspective, you know, of course, polling is, is really a kingpin. I mean, Q&A is, of course, very key, uh, especially if you find that younger salespeople, they have tons of questions, but you need to understand what is the what is the sense right you need to understand what is the real message so not it's polling is not just one screen you know we have multi-screen polling which is pretty unique which means it looks like a survey but it's like a series of polls that happen and we find that that is the most often used tool by speakers and trainers to make sure that you know the sales team not only understand the product but they understand how to tell the story they understand how to handle objections, you know, and how to be persistent, you know, how to deliver the culture that you're aspiring for. And, you know, like this one, for example, we'll jump into a round table just after this, but you don't know that whether they're really understanding what you're saying or not. Now, with multi-screen polling, you really get a real-time understanding of have they understood the product, have they understood our culture, have they understood our strategy. You know, and and also get collective feedback on common issues, right? If you based on your industry, so I think that's really one of the most often used engagement tools in everyone. Yeah. So same, we are just going through the screenshots here, uh, and just just before you jump to that, I think I must say that, you know, we worked very hard to make sure that it's a very scalable polling engine. So on the YouTube, if your test results are live, it shows that, you know more than 100,000 people and 300,000 votes all in less than a minute, right? And all, so you can actually submit any amount and we queue them up, but it is released so fast that within 60 seconds, the entire poll was processed, multi-stage poll was processed and released. So we are using some really clever architecture to make sure that 
polling can happen at scale and on demand. And this is not just one screen polling, this is multi-screen polling. So really useful. Yeah, I remember the scalability test. I mean, it was yeah. a big deal. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we're we are coming to a close of our 30-minute session, but you know, last but not the least, you know, when you're talking about a sales kickoff, right, I think you, you would agree with me, you know, what is most important for a sales guy or for a salesperson or for a sales manager is winning. Right? Is, is winning. They're here to win. I mean, you have that legendary, some of those movies, right, where you say you must be closing, right? And they use a ton of profanities in it. But the, fa the fact is they not only want to win, but they also want to show that they have won. And they feel embarrassed when they are not winning. So the fact that you have an active leaderboard, which shows that you, where do you stand? So the system allows you to allocate automatically points for every activity, right? So for checking into a session, for asking questions, for chatting, for responding, for visiting the booths, for every action you get points, right? For exchanging business cards in a booth, for example, every action you get a point. And then you see your leaderboard coming up. Similarly, trivia gamification. I think polls is more, you can say, topical, but in trivia is more generic. Sometimes trivia can be about, you know, Hollywood, for example. It may not even be. You want to get that entertainment in form of trivia. But leaderboard is probably the most often. So when a sales guy sees, oh, this guy who's with me, my colleague, and he's right up there, and I'm not even there, he suddenly sees, how did you get all those points? And then he wants to check in. He wants to do that. So in a way that, you know, these are micro awards, these are micro form of appraisal or micro ways of thanking your team to get that. But I think trivia really gets in. You know, I cannot take specific names right now, but Ariban, I have seen with my own eyes, you know, large Fortune 500 companies, VPs of large Fortune 500 companies, they know that the number of the top three people are going to get iPad and up. And they, you know, when in a physical event, they are rushing from pole to post to make sure they scan the QR code and do that. I have seen people who have been lazy and they are sitting and watching, but suddenly when they see, oh, Jack is right up there. Why is he number one? What is he doing? He has 530 points. I have like 100 points. What do I need to do? And then suddenly, you know, oh, so I need to make sure I attend my sessions. I need to make sure I, I visit all the booths. I need to make sure I chat and ask a question and be part of a round table. Oh, so he gets that. Yeah, sales people are by nature competitive, aren't they? Competition yeah. is what drives them. So. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is just some real-time screenshot of our app that enables gamification and leaderboard. And on the right, you would see a live leaderboard that you can see. So one of the benefits of the mobile app as well, and one is that while a streaming session is going on, you know, your leaderboard engagement is still on. You know, I think that's the nature. Dual screening is our life, right? You're watching Netflix, but you have the phone at your side. You're watching, you have your phone, but you have an iPad at the side. I think one thing that COVID has really, other than other things it has shown us that dual screening is part of the game. Like I'm here, but my phone is here and my iPad is right there. And, you know, good, bad, ugly, that's, I'm not here to judge for that. But I think it's very rare for people to not be dual screening right now. And now what we have done is we have tried to be a little clever here by making sure that you engage there and there. So when, you're t when you're tired of watching your laptop or your desktop, you know, you know that, oh, I can call here. I can do this there, you know. So it's, uh, you know, for sales kickoff for employee engagement, this is really a gold mine, I would say. So with that, you know, we've been crisp, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's a short 30 minute. We want to make sure it's productive. And I would really encourage you while you are there to not hang up here and join me in a, uh, uh, you know, in a, in the round table. So if you let me share my screen now, uh, and I would actually let me share my screen. Yeah, I've stopped sharing. Yeah. And if you can also join, I'll just encourage everybody to see where I'm going here. So if you see, if I click on the round table on the other tab, you know, I'm going to round table one, but just feel free to come over, have a chat. Uh, you know, this is, this is what, 
you know gives the independence to the uh, sales team uh, this is what gives them the you know the, the thrill of being being able to talk uh, so and then if you have any additional questions which you might want to ask face to face you know we, we very welcome you there and uh, you know thank you so much for this 30 minutes i know i hope some of it has been useful uh, you know we we try the best to make it short and sweet uh, i know this is these are sort of impromptu events but i i believe that you know these micro events have a place in our lives where it's almost like snacking on some knowledge sharing and i think if even if you found one of the ideas important for your next kick off i think the objective is served so you know if you would be kind enough join us in the round table there say hello ask any questions uh, and with that you know i want to thank you thank you all for spending this time and uh, yeah thanks so much